Hello, I'm Christina Amalong from the Optimal Health Network and today I'm going to talk to you about um, copper toxicity and the hair tissue mineral analysis. Copper is an essential trace mineral and is necessary for the well functioning of the body. But unfortunately, copper can become toxic in the body for many reasons that I'll go over and can cause symptoms like hormonal imbalance, trouble sleeping, um, thyroid issues, brain fog, depression, um, overall lethargy, anxiety. And so if you're feeling any of those things, I would highly recommend a hair tissue mineral analysis to determine if copper toxicity is part of the issue that you have going on. The reason that a hair tissue mineral analysis is so great in detecting copper is because the body through the blood does such a great job of shunting the copper away from the circulatory system and into the tissue. So a blood test can't accurately assess if your body has toxic copper in it because the blood clears the copper from the blood quickly. Where do high levels of copper in the body come from? Well, there's many sources. The high copper can come from copper pipes in the drinking water. It can come from industrial pollution. It can come from using copper cookware. It can come from uh, hormonal contraceptive. It can come from a copper IUD and it can come from a vegetarian diet. If you've recently had a copper IUD in, I can tell you that um, I work with many women who have noticed a shift in their health to worse after, either directly after or months after they've had their copper IUD inserted. So really keep track if you're using a copper ID of making sure you're the copper ID isn't affecting your health in negative ways. High levels of copper and estrogen are often related because estrogen can cause copper to retain in the body at excessive levels. Zinc and copper levels are often inversely correlated. Zinc is related to your progesterone and your testosterone levels and the hair tissue mineral analysis gives you a zinc to copper ratio helping you see what's going on with your hormones as well as the possible copper toxicity. The copper toxicity treatments can vary depending on the results of your hair tissue mineral analysis one of the things we need to do is determine where the toxic copper is coming from so that we can make sure that you're not getting that copper into your body any longer. So whether that's from an IUD or from the water or from the diet. Also, we want to probably change the diet and make sure that you're avoiding high copper foods for at least a while like avocados and cashews and kale and shellfish. Also there's great supplements for removing copper in the body. We work with uh, GB3, gallbladder 3, which is a ox bile, pancreatin, and black radish root. And it was developed by the hair tissue mineral analysis company that we work with to move out copper. It enhances bilary output, which in turn helps pull the copper out of the body. Also, coffee enemas is an excellent way to remove copper from the body, again improving the functioning of the gallbladder as well as the liver, as well as just up-leveling the whole detox capacities of the body. So that is what we want to say today about copper toxicity and the hair tissue mineral analysis. We'd love to support you. So if you have any questions, please reach out to us at OptimalHealthNetwork.com and you can call us at 608-242-0200. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful rest of your day.